Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. Just having a little walk, a little chill this afternoon before prepping for the game tomorrow. Very mixed emotions with it really. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name's Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog documenting my journey throughout football as a goalkeeper currently playing in Sweden. In today's episode, I'm going to bring you guys a match day vlog from our home game against Terby FK. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, helps us out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right now, I'm going to stretch, I'm going to warm up, I'm going to prepare for training. What we normally do the day before a game is possession work, tactic stuff in preparation for the match, set pieces, all that kind of stuff, quite light, quite short. So as I said, I'm going to warm up now and then I'll let you know how the session goes afterwards. Training done, nice, easy, light session. Most of our games are played on a Sunday to accommodate the traveling that either we have to do or the opposition have to do, which means the session that we do on a Saturday morning, we normally do early on the Saturday, and it normally consists of like what I told you before, possession, small sided games, set pieces, and kind of tactical prep for the game the following day. That means Saturday afternoon, completely off, can go home, have a chill. Not sure what we're getting up to this afternoon. Go see what Frankie's doing and then get everything set and prepped. Ready for the game tomorrow. 1 p.m. kickoff. Gonna be a good one. Looking forward to it. Feeling good. Team's looking good. Got a good feeling about it. Right, let's head home and see what's happening this afternoon. It's a bit warmer this week. After the snowstorm last weekend, we now have a little bit of sun. We've come down by the water. Just having a little walk, a little chill this afternoon before prepping for the game tomorrow. How are you feeling about it, Frank? I'm excited. I like, quite like watching from home. Maybe it's warmer. Yeah, that's true. No, I'm excited because you guys are a lot stronger now and it feels like... It's coming. Smash it. Yeah, it's coming. And then hopefully, I've had a little bit of news that maybe people can come back and watch the games halfway through May. Mm. So. You might be getting Frankie Cam soon. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Ragu again for tea this week. Can't claim any credit whatsoever. When it comes to Italian food, Frankie's the master in the kitchen, not me. But I've just been watching a little bit more video on Terby, the team that we're playing tomorrow. Good team, quite similar to us, play 4-4-2. They throw a lot of men forward when they attack. As a goalkeeper, watching video and analyzing your opposition before you play them can be very helpful. Helps you to be able to visualize how the game might go in certain circumstances and what decisions you might be able to take in order to exploit potential weaknesses in the opposition. So for example, if they throw a lot of men forward, there may be space for me to hit the counter attacks quickly, find wingers, find strikers and break into that space that they've left behind. But they're a good team, it's gonna be a good game, so I'm looking forward to it. But time to chill this evening, mentally just prep for tomorrow, and yeah, we'll be ready to go. Game day, all ready to go, kit bag packed. Looking forward to it. Nice to be back playing at home. I think it should be a really good game. Let's go out, put that performance in and get those three points. Anyway, wish us luck. I'm gonna bring you guys the highlights now with a little bit of analysis. Hope you enjoy them. Wish us luck and I'll speak to you afterwards. So we're in red, Terby in blue. Immediately play building up down their left-hand side. Bernardo does well to usher the center forward wide, plays it back to the fullback who puts in a very flat cross and a header and a goal within two minutes. Another early goal conceded, just like last week. Really frustrating. It was a great cross from their fullback. Wasn't able to come for it. Manages to just go over Philip, our centre half, and a really frustrating start to the game. Out quickly to sweep up with the ball over the top. 
I knew they were going to try and play those types of passes, so I had to be on the front foot, looking to protect the space in behind. Collect the ball over the top. Want to build back into the game now after a difficult start. So can we keep hold of the ball? Can we build that confidence? When the centre-backs have the ball, can you show? Can you make an angle to receive the pass? The press is high, so I elect to go longer into Henke, our full-back. Held up a little bit in the wind, but managed to get there and to continue to build. Great ball from Freddie. Pash probably offside, but the flag stayed down. Keeper did really well to come out and spread and make the save. Clearance straight into Freddie, but we weren't able to capitalise on it and they managed to get it away. Another through ball. Can you read it? This time, elect to come out, smother, collect the ball and build again. Collect the ball from Philip, my centre-back. Look to change the angle of play by playing into James, our left-back, but overhit the long pass, out of touch. Again, build up on their left-hand side. Full-back puts in a cross, a little bit more height so I can come and collect the ball this time over the centre forward. Build up down the middle, strike from the edge, but safely wide with that one. Great hold up play from Mackett, managed to change the angle, bring Freddie into the attack. First time, left foot, good save from the keeper, a good opportunity to get the equaliser. Another through ball, this time in behind the fullback. Bernardo does really well to get across and cover and make the block. He's got great speed to cover those angles which really helps if you don't have to come and make the 1v1 save. Great cross from James, great header from Mackett, just wide of the far post. Another really good opportunity. Build up, flick over the top. Deflection, just safely touch it over the bar. Again, another build up down their left hand side. Firm strike through bodies, managed to hold it well. The key with this one that I initially set just further forward for the first guy and then decided to retreat to give myself a little bit more reaction time as he came on to hit it hard and to hold it. Header clear, volley, thankfully straight at me. Second half, build up down the middle, another comfortable save with a strike down the middle. Build up on the left hand side, full back again, low cross, went with the foot, probably should have gone with the hands to try and block it. Corner kick, headed back across goal, Maka does well with the flick on and then managed to clear it off the line from the defender. Ball out to James, another great cross into the box. Pash with the header, off the bar, another really good opportunity to get the equaliser. Build up down the left, play to the edge, strike, deflection, Bernardo heads it up. So I decide to come and help and to punch rather than to rely on him with the ball coming directly down. Can you help your centre backs in that situation? Corner comes in, again, punch away from the attacker. Opportunity to start the counter-attack, but unfortunately, defender manages to get back in and block. Scuff clearance, passed as well, brings Freddie into play, great strike, and a great save from the keeper over the bar. Ball, can I change the direction of play? Play it into my fullback Henke. Again, support with the angle when he has the ball so he can come back to me if needed. No option central, so come back out beat the press, play to Henke again, and we can come forward. Through ball, flicked over the top, Bernardo with the clearance, I thought it was going in. I was coming to clear, can I probably put a name on it so he doesn't clear it, but thankfully, just wide. Play out wide from Sia, great touch from Glory, good effort, just wide at the far post. 95th minute, free kick. I've come up for the free kick to try and just get involved, to try and help as much as possible. I looked for the flick on, but cleared and at this point I'm thinking oh no we're in trouble so I have to get back as quickly as possible into the goal because I thought they were going to try and have a shot from halfway pass back from Bernardo my legs are dead because I've just sprinted the full length of the pitch managed to kind of scuff a clearance with the left foot and thankfully gets to see her and then Mo and we can build the attack again Mo does really well to play out wide to Glory who's got a little bit of space can drive into puts the cross in Again, we're pushing for something, last minute of the game. Comes to Johan, plays out to Freddy. Freddy with the cross, and then thankfully, Pash was there to knock it in. 97th minute equaliser. I felt we deserved it, given the, how the second half was going, but I have to say, when you leave it that late, you're very, very glad that someone has managed to get into the box, and Pash does really well to get in front of his defender and to finish off the move. And that was it. The end of the game, 
We really pushed in that second half and managed, thankfully, to get the equaliser at the end. 1-1. Good morning guys, Tuesday morning, down at the track, doing a little plyometric training. I've had a chance to obviously watch the game back, giving you guys kind of my general analysis on the play-by-play, -play. but overall thoughts, very mixed emotions with it really. Obviously conceding a goal so early in the game, again, is an absolute killer. That's something that we need to completely cut out. We need to make sure that we're concentrating from the beginning of every game. I hadn't even touched the ball by the time I was picking it out of the net, which is not the way that you want to be starting off. After that, I felt that we settled down. We grew into the game more. I didn't have any big saves to make, unlike last week. This week, it was more about trying to do the basics as well as possible. And then second half, I felt that we dominated the game. We created a lot of good opportunities, a lot of good chances. And to get an equaliser, as late as it was, very important to get the point at least, but I felt that the three points were definitely there for the taking. All of that was overshadowed because Gustav, one of our teammates, right at the end of the game, just before the equaliser, suffered what looks to be a recurrence of a really, really bad knee injury. He spent a year coming back and in his second game, it looks like it's happened again. So we were all absolutely gutted, absolutely devastated for him. And obviously the club will look after him, we'll look after him as teammates, but I really, really hope that it's good news when he gets the diagnosis and that he can come back as strong and as fit as possible, as quickly as possible. But another point, should have been three, but another point, that win will come, that win will come. But anyway, new week, new training, new focus, all prepping for our game this weekend, this Sunday coming. But I'm gonna get a good plyometric session in now and start the week well. Very nice to be back on the track. <sighs> Since I've been back, I've been doing my plyometric session in the gym, as you guys have seen before, because the track was covered in snow for a very long time. And it's only this week, last week, that it started to melt away. So nice to get back on the track, change of scenery. A lot of you guys already know, but if you don't already know, the plyometric session that I just did was taken from my goalkeeper plyometrics program. It's an eight week plyometric training program to help goalkeepers of all abilities to improve their sprint speed, their jump height, and their athletic ability in the goal. I've done a few videos talking about it, showing you some of the drills, but if you're interested in it, the link is in the video description below. Hundreds of goalkeepers have already tried it, loads of great reviews, and I still use it as part of my training. So as I said, if that's something you're interested in, go and have a look. Anyway, time to get back on the bike, head back home, because we've got training this evening. But before I head back home, get some lunch, I wanted to say this week's patron of the week is Elliot McDowell. Elliot, thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting Keeping Goals. We wouldn't be able to make the vlog without patrons like yourself. So as a thank you, here is your Keeping Goals shout out. You guys could win Patron of the Week, like Elliot, and receive tons of other benefits exclusive for patrons by signing up using the link below this video. Anyway, time to get the helmet on, back on this absolute beast of a bike, head back home for some lunch, to get ready for training this evening. And that's it for this week's episode of Keeping Goals. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please hit that like button. I know I say it every week, but it really does help us to reach as many goalkeepers as we possibly can. Also, there's still quite a lot of you guys that watch these videos without subscribing to the channel. So if that's you, that little subscribe button, just give it a click. Come and join the Keeping Goals Union. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next Sunday, as always, for the next episode of Keeping Goals. Have a great week, guys. Take care of each other, look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Speak to you in a bit. Don't worry, there's not much else to talk about, is there? What 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 else has been happening this week, Franks? Um, <laughs> um. Some people fishing over there. <laughs> <laughs>